I'm Chuck Wittmeyer with Gamut Tennis, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about a new series we have coming out on our social media platforms where we're showing everyone our entire line of stringing machines, how to put them together, how to use them, and how to help you choose the best string machine for your use. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of stringing machines here. I, you know, right here I can count over t a dozen of them. Various things about them, it's much like buying a car. You can go with the base model or you can go to the top of the line with all the bells and whistles and all the extra functionality that you may need for your shop or for yourself. Uh, today I'm going to show you the three types of machines that we offer. Uh, from our tabletop models here, they use a drop weight system to help pull tension. It's a matter of just cranking up this arm back and forth until you get a parallel to the table. That puts you to tension. Uh, we have these in two-point mounting systems. We also have them for badminton. And if you come down this way, Paige, I'll show you that we have six-point mounting systems. Uh, they use floating clamps. You can also have them with a fixed clamp system. It all depends on what your budget is and what your, how many rackets you're using or how often you're going to use it. Um, all these machines st string rackets quite well. Um, they're not built totally for speed, but they do a very good job and they can get the tension you desire on all your rackets. Secondly, I'm going to come over to our spring-loaded tension machines. These are probably some of the most common mach stringing machines you'll see in some of the smaller tennis shops across the country. Again, we have six-point mounting systems. We have fixed clamps that move along the track. Uh, here, we have a quick-release clamp. And when you put this down, it slides freely. Uh, you get the tension here by putting the string in this linear bar grab or pulling back, and once you hit the desired tension, it locks out. As like I said, this is a very easy machine to use. Uh, and you'll see these in most shops across the country. It's very affordable. They, they range from anywhere from about $800 up to $1,200, $1,400, depending on what added features you get on it. And then lastly, I want to come over to our uh, top of the line machines here. And these are what we call our electronic machines, which are also a constant pulling. And again, we have different models here, depending on what you want. These are like mini computers. They store a lot of data. They store string tensions that you use quite often. Um, they'll pull knot strength. They'll double pull. They'll do a lot of different things that some of these other machines can't do for you. But once again, they do come in a six point mounting system. These have the sliding clamps. They're fixed to the base. Uh, you can see they're really nice clamps. They work really easily. Not hard to use. They don't damage the string. Um, we even have a two-point machine here. As you can see, most of our machines are in six-point, but we do offer two-point machines. Some people still prefer to use that. It's a little quicker. Um, it still does a nice job. And we have two different type of pulling units we have our linear, which is one where you wrap it around this Diablo, pull it into here, hit the button, it slides straight back to pull on a linear plane. Over here, we have a rotational pulling unit, much like that is used in the um, drop weight system. Slide the string in here and pull it, and it just pulls it in a circular motion. Both are very efficient, both do a very good job. And as I said, we, we have just alone in here, we have about six models and all the different things you can go. You get a better clamp, you can get a better base system where you don't have to lock it down so much, just one push of the button. Uh, some of them release when you drop the clamp down. A lot of different functions which we'll all go through during the series. Uh, and I think it'll be prove worthwhile and make it very easy for you to make a decision on what stringing machine you'd like to purchase. So that's all I have for now. Uh, you can see the next video coming up shortly. I believe we're going to do them once every couple weeks.